Manitoba. Yeah, by, by Manitoba. Where the bison roam? Where the bison roam. <laughs> Can we please talk about Wayman skis? Yes, ma'am. All right. Let's talk about the Scott Scrapper 105 Women's. Do you have that? I do. Right over here. Conveniently located right next to me. Oh, that was handy. Yeah, handy, eh? Let me see this. Oh, Scott, they just, their design is just so nice. I love this color of ski. Yeah, it's very rich, eh? Yeah, really yeah. nice. So the Scott Scrapper 105 yep. mm -hmm. Women. Here's what Scott has to say about it. It's the new choice of progressive free ride skiers. The new choice for progressive, four. progressive free ride skiers with a full length elliptical wood core, unidirectional and triaxial. Am I saying that right? Yep, triaxial. Carbon stringers. Correct. And Scott's 3D dimension side cut. The Scott Scrapper 105 has been engineered to increase stability and shed weight. The women's specific version of the Scrapper 105 is built with an air channeled wood core for softer and lighter setup. It's, it's a playful ski that performs in a variety of conditions. So specs are great, but tell me what this means for a skier. Who's skiing on this? Where am I taking this? What, what's the ski gonna do for me? Okay, so let me do my, my best uh, Donald Trump and completely evade your question. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's huge. No, uh, <laughs> uh, it's designed for the, for the good skier, not too heavy. Um, the, 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 the hard charging female, um, the girl who does not want a ski that's watered down, but yet wants an easy ski to ski on. Um, we're talking somebody who, you know, I don't wanna say older, but you could, you could tour on this. This is as light as a touring ski, but it's the people who really benefit from this are maybe not on the upward swing of their physical ability and are looking for skis that are game improvement skis. Um, the, the key element, and I'm gonna talk about this for a couple of seconds here, is the 3D side cut at Scott. 3D side cut is between my thumbs here. The ski is straight, and then it has a lot of side cut and a lot of side cut. And you're gonna hear about 3D side cut from a couple of companies, but Scott kind of pioneered it. Um, and that's arguable, everybody's pioneered something at some point. But the idea here is that what it does is that we look at the radius here, and this is a 20 meter radius in a 167. That's a pretty wide radius ski, and it's not something that most women would appreciate to have a long, long radius ski, but it isn't. Here, it's a very, very long radius, short, short. What does that mean? I, I don't know. You don't know? It looks good. I'll tell you. <laughs> engages the turn with some authority, allows you to, in the middle of your turn to vary your turn shape, and at the end, finishes the turn for you. That's how you ski, oh. right? So, you ne so you don't just lock in, do one radius. You lock in, oh, it may change your radius halfway through, and then come back out of the turn. Always it's engaging at the, at the tail, engaging at the tip, and that means confidence for a lot of people. Um, and, and so who that, to answer your question, yes. I'll get around to it. Thank you. <laughs> um, is we're talking about somebody who's a good skier, who wants ease of use, who lightweight. Remember, lightweight in skis is the fountain of youth. The only downside is that sometimes lightweight comes with shitty skiing, right? It's difficult to have lightweight, powerful skis. Scott owns it. Scott owns the lightweight, powerful ski market. And it's easy to ski on, but you never feel like, oh my God, this thing's so light that it's like that. No, it isn't. This is a solid, well-built, proper ski. You didn't ask me about these. What are, what's up with those holes? It's just for show. Yeah. Kind of like, oh, you know what? They're light. Look, they have holes in them. So um, what I heard about this ski is that it looks good and it's going to make me look and feel younger. I'll take two. Yeah.